And welcome back to another round of Dead by Daylight. We're playing around as Piggy, and we're playing with an experimental build. It's something we're going to be running, something similar, maybe when a Hex Undying gets nerfed. We're running Pop Goes the Weasel. Whenever we kick a generator after we've hooked somebody, it's going to lose 25% of its progress. We're pairing that up with Not Predator. Oh, my God. How in the world did we get that perk on there? No, 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 no. We wanted oppression. When we kick a generator, three other random generators will start regressing in its place. If someone's on it, they'll get a difficult skill check. Sloppy Butcher means it's going to take them a lot longer to heal when we hit them with our basic attack. And Hex, Devour Hope, whenever we hook somebody and we get away and they get unhooked, we're going to get a token. We get three tokens. Everyone's exposed. Five tokens. Well, we can mori them. We're using the tamper timer and the crate of gears to make those traps even more deadly. We're sending ourselves to Hawkins, which has hard totem spawns, so hopefully Devour will stay hidden. We'll see how it works in a second. All right, we got the map we wanted. Uh, we chose Hawkins because uh, totem spawns here can be actually sometimes difficult for survivors to find. Uh, I don't really know where that particular totem is. Oh, hi. Well, that's nice to find somebody quick. So the idea is, is that, well, they're going to get rid of Ruin and Undying as a, as a combo. David, where are you going, my man? They're going to get rid of Ruin and Undying as a combo. With the nerf upcoming to... Uh, the nerf that's upcoming. So. Oh, this this little gen's chugging away. Let's pop this one. Oh, we know somebody's headed for the rescue. Fang, we're going to go after you. See, we kind of screwed up there. Oh, hi. There's a Felix there. Yeah, we, we did not get our token of Devour. We were not far enough away, unfortunately. Uh, well, all right, buddy. If that's how it's going to be. Our Fang is leaving us a nice little blood trail here. What way are we going, Fang? We didn't have to worry about Sloppy. We already had that. Hey, but guess what is here, Fang? The basement. Get you on a hook here. They got Agen done, so your trap. Well. Hey, David. Um. All right, that time we got our uh, we got our stack. We played that pretty poorly. Oh, he dead hearted. Very nice. You're not making another pallet, though. I feel there's a Jake here. 
Ah, that's twice! That's not a coincidence. Oh, hi, Fang. Hi, David, what's up? This time we're going to face the wall. We're not getting baited again. Hey, what's up, Jake? All right, Fang. Let's get a hook on you. Felix? You know what? David, we're killing enough time. We're killing enough time there. Let's let our friend Jake. Where are you going there, Felix? That's not the right way, Felix. Alright, we got three traps on. So we've got generators slowed down significantly. We would actually like to get away from this hook. Hi, Fang. I can hear Jake behind me. Bang, I think you're dead, aren't you? Yeah, you're just dead. Oh, hi. What's up, Felix? Yeah, we're not going to let you get that box off. Oh, hi. I was going to break this. It's sitting there, that's fine. <laughs> we're going to keep doing this? I guess we're going to keep doing this, huh? Oh, Devour Hope is gone. Well, my guess is so is your DS. If it's not, let's just get it over with. Oh, no, it's gone. Let's just get it gone. Unfortunately, they broke my Devour Hope Totem. David? We're actually going to use Pop on this one. Well, we don't really have to worry so much about where... everyone is 
for Devour. I believe we're following the David here. I also believe is on Death Hook. Hi. What's up, buddy? We're going to let our trap do your dead hard, David. Dead hard. There it is. We're going to let the trap do the work there. We know that Jake's hanging around with his flashlight. All right, that's two gone. Is there any work on this, John? No. No. That gen upstairs sounds like it's still regressing. Hey, there's Jake. What you doing, buddy? Is that a little sprint burst over there? I think that was a little bit of a sprint burst on you there, Jake. Hey, where'd he go? Okay, I just got juked in the complete wide open there. That's a little embarrassing. Oh, Felix has his trap off. Somebody maybe headed back upstairs? It's hard to tell if that's... Oh, that's still regressing. Okay. Oh, hi, Jake. Yeah, let's see if I can not lose you this time. I don't know if you have Dead Heart or not. I don't think we've seen it. I think you have, yeah, you have a Sprint Burst. You have a different What's up, Felix? All right, Felix, I'll be back for you, okay? I think you were trying to boot my snoot, so I'll be back for you. Where's the Jake at? All right, hold on a second here, buddy. Are you dead? You want to wiggle? You tried to boop. You want to wiggle? Come on. Come on, wiggle off. Wiggle off, buddy. All right. You want to boot me? All right. I'm going to leave you alone for a bit. I'm going to go look for Jake. You get a free pass for a boop. <laughs> All right. There's one gen there. There's the one Felix is working on.
no idea where Jake is. He's being awfully immersed. Though, is that... Both the Jake and the Felix are injured. Ah, oh, there's your sprint burst again. All right. You I'd like to kill. Oh. oh boy, you were spinning me in circles, dude. I haven't had a clear shot at you all match. I'm not going to get it there either, apparently. Eventually, I'm going to get you right, buddy. Uh, how did I miss that? Oh. Finally. Oh, that took too long. I think I got enough to get you to this hook. Come on, yes. All right. Let's see if Felix is going to actually come rescue this guy. Or if he's going to let him die. Oh, he's not up there anymore. Pull him off. <laughs> Felix, I'm going to try to go kill this Jake, okay? See, Jake, this is how it works. The Felix has booped the snoot. Where are you going? Are you gonna you gonna stay up here? We just gonna keep running this until I get blood loss? I mean we can keep doing that, or you can vault. Huh? What are we doing? You're you're wasting your DS if you have it, dude. We also know Felix doesn't have Unbreakable. He would have used it by now. <laughs> well, we can definitely keep doing this, buddy. kill you Felix who are you Felix there you go Felix gets the hatch I didn't even have to bring him to it so the guy who booped got the hatch the guy who flashlight blinded me well he got nothing We could have killed that Felix up top on the uh, on top of the ledge, but we did not. So, how did the build work? Well, the idea is is that once we uh, 
once we end up uh, seeing the Undying nerf go through, is the idea is that we want to run Undying with Devour. And the main reason we want to do it is because we assume that survivors are going to ignore totems, much like a lot of survivors, not all survivors, but a lot of survivors ignored totems uh, prior to Undying because, well, they just weren't a big deal. And uh, Devour doesn't let you know that Devour's in play until it's already deadly, until you have basically three stacks on it. So what we're hoping is now that the new Undying will transfer tokens over, is that in a case like this, when they broke Devour, I already had three tokens on it. It would have transferred to a hopefully equally difficult spot to find on Hawkins, and I could really have taken advantage of it. As is, they did break it at three tokens. I never really had anything to, to, to use with it. Uh, I will say sloppy is what would come off this build in order to run Undying with it. Uh, we could pull oppression off at some point to go with barbecue because there were times where we probably could have used the ability to find survivors easier and just weren't able to do it. And the idea with the Tamper Timer is is that, well, with Devour in play, they're going to have a choice, a bad choice, if they have a trap, particularly an active one on their head, where they won't be able to, to really have good options. They're either going to have to look to cleanse Devour twice or they're going to have to get the trap off their head before they die. And that could be a very deadly combination. So in this match, we didn't see the timer actually come into play. Uh, people obviously were trying to get their traps off, but we never saw the timer actually kill anybody in this match. Uh, we did catch uh, numerous people at boxes amongst our travels around and down them. So, I mean, the threat of the trap was enough to to help us find survivors and to down survivors. Uh, we used pop and oppression relatively well. There were a couple times we downed people in quick succession and really didn't have gens to pop on. And in that case, barbecue might have been a good a good perk to run and maybe oppression won't be. We're going to have to play around with it a little bit. But overall, this uh, version of the pig, at least on this map, I don't know how this is going to work on maps where the totems are just right out there in the wide open. But at least on this map, it worked out pretty good. And to Felix, buddy, uh, we could have killed you, but I'm glad you found the hatch. Uh, I'm glad you were able to get to it. Uh, you were the one who booped the snoot. And for that, we were willing to let you live. So anyway, that's going to be the end of the match. A 3K could have been a 4K, but hey, you booped the snoot, or you're willing to. Even in a moment of desperation, we're probably going to let you live. This was the case with that Felix. Uh, hope you enjoyed the match, and we'll be revisiting this build in the future. Please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons while you're here. New videos released on a daily basis. And you can follow us over on Twitch at GeriatricGaming11 and get notified whenever we go live. Until the next time, thanks again so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next Dead by Daylight.